Um, yeah. It really, I mean, tell that. Gina works being hanged uh, as a backdrop for a poise to, uh, to play or to perform. Really show that the, the vision of Sanat Zamba is fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Because how can, just today, uh, Gina produced a fabric and now uh, a tax is being mounted on it already. Mm -hmm. Meaning, the work produced by Gina is really meant I mean, it was really there to, to serve a purpose. It has really started to serve a purpose. And identification of the purpose has been identified. Yeah, its purpose has been what? Identified. And meaning, Senator Zambang has really, I mean, has really achieved the idea. And the purpose of it is to help what? Achieve aims of society. Mm -hmm. And that is, it has, what Gina has produced has, is there to produce or to serve a purpose. And that is to help the artist as a, I mean, to, as a bad drop to perform. Yeah. Senator Zamba is a very great media that is helping not only artists but everybody who is determined to do something. Senator Zamba, I think my first time that I heard Senator Zamba of Senator Zamba is when I, I my friend introduced me to um, the art group. That's the first time I, 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 I heard of Senator Zamba and I've been viewing I've, I've been viewing viewing their videos on Instagram, on YouTube, and it's awesome. They are just helping out a lot. I saw that and it's, it was actually nice. Also, the stuff I saw inside, like, they were kind of um, an inspiration. Especially the those clay-like metal things that I saw. First when I saw it, I thought they were metals. I, I had a feel of it, but still, I, I had to ask to satisfy my curiosity and I was told that it's kind of clay. But I was still finding it difficult to, it was like, when you even hold it, it was kind of heavy and then I hit on it and it sounded like a metal. I was like, wow, that person is super. And um, are there other videos that were displayed? It was kind of too much to me. I don't know so that's how people will see it, but it was really well. I, when I first heard of Sonat Zema, I never knew it was something like this. At first, I was like, "Is it an NGO, something?" Because they're kind of trying to help people grow. So a friend told me that no, it's not an NGO, something like that. They really, they, they really do try helping people. Then I was, I was, I was recommended to someone here. Then I was, the friend told me that, um, well, this is an opportunity for you to grab and don't lose it. And I was like, okay, fine. I need to contact the person. And I just dialed his number. He he didn't answer though. The first call that he didn't answer. Then I, I texted him on WhatsApp. Then we started communicating, and that was it. Um, I'm, I'm really glad that I'm here, because okay. I feel my dreams are going to be fulfilled. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Actually, in Northern Region, um, to me personally, sometimes it has to do with um, someone managing you or someone taking care of like your staffs, yeah. because it has to do with publicity. Yeah. So once you have the content and then you write it, and you don't have some you don't have anybody to help you when it comes to video shooting audio rec i mean going to the studio to record it will be something that will be very difficult for you so that has actually make a lot of people fall apart because they have they have the knowledge all right but then someone coming in to help them with the studio aspect video shooting getting them media people to interview them and other stuff is difficult yeah okay for me i would say that i'm going to talk about we the people. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with Tamale, but they don't really find, um, should I say fun or art in poetry? Yes, the, the contribution or, I don't know how to put it, it's very low, it's very low. And you organize poetry show and something that people are going, you know, poet, poem is something that it's a way of communicating to people. You are trying to solve problems. But you are putting it in a, in a way that it's going to make people 
you are not directly accusing them of doing something. Yeah. Like you are moving around it, but correcting it. You are calling people, and then they turn out to it will be very low, mm. making you feel like what you are doing yeah. is they they are not recognizing it. It's nothing. So sometimes I think that's what really contributes to people falling back. They, they are not being appreciated. So you see that they go back. For me, I think that a lot of people are not showing some kind of interest into poetry. You know, sometimes they say that, oh, I'm coming to perform, like, there's a program and someone is going to be performing a poem or something like that. You know, people say that you have to come and sit down and listen to words that me sometimes I don't even understand or something like that. They think poetry is boring, but actually when you listen to them and then you go and sit back and reflect on the words that they bring out, you got to realize that it's going to be much more, I mean, beneficial to you. And another one is um, we are not being, I mean, I don't know how to say, we are not... Um, uh, listen, yeah, there's no support, we're not compensated or something like that. Yeah, sometimes like someone will tell you that, oh, come and do this thing for me. And then the person, you even travel for me, like the distance, use yeah. your lorry fare from maybe campus to town, you come and perform, and there's nothing that they're going to get. They're just saying that they are trying to, I mean, make you, I mean, Expo uh, exposure, exposure yeah. or something. Yeah. But exposure is not, at least if someone is doing something for you, there is something like you have to also appreciate the person in some way that will make the person feel like doing it or that. We're just yeah. saying that we are doing it for money though yeah. but unless we also try you sit down write memorize rehearse yeah. move in and out oh, sure. and then at the end the only thing they are telling you is that you are being exposed mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 what she's yeah. saying what she's saying is true yeah. okay yeah it's, it's very very true. Yes. I even have, you have been, <laughs> yeah you have been, yeah excuse me I know you I think she's one of the yeah, yeah. the leading, leading ones, yeah. right? So you have been there for a long time. Yeah. How, how is it? What I, what they say is it? Actually? Absolutely. Some yeah, it, it actually happens. Mm. <laughs> Someone will just call just because the person knows no, knows you. you. Then the person will just call. Oh, please, I have uh, this particular program and I want you to come come mm. by and then pass by and then perform. Even TNT, something that will just motivate you to come, because I am also mm. a human being. Mm. I, I I equally have. So I mean, there should be transportation or something. Yes. Uh huh. Those things yes, they don't sir. even want to do it, and once you refuse to do it, they will, they will now Try scoot in for. I mean, insult and other stuffs on you down that oh, you don't want to perform and other stuffs. <laughs> but other times too, it does pay. Yeah. Yeah. Like if 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 you have that kind of like opportunities are there online. So once you look look out on them and then you apply and you are being picked and you go there when when they when they finish with it, definitely they will pay you. Yeah. Well, um, Sanatu Zambanga, I've known them for quite a long time on social media and then other places. They come in and then blogging and then promoting art and other stuff. They are doing a lot of things and I think it, go, it will go a long way to actually help with the young ones coming on. And this initiative too is a nice one because a lot of we actually don't really have that platform sometimes to showcase what we have. So now that Sanatu Zambanga actually I mean, brought it out. It's a. It's going to go a long way to help us massively. Yeah. I got to know about Sanatu Zambang on social media. That is Facebook, to be precise. I've been following you. Um, Senior Hakim actually used to um, post some of your programs on Facebook so I got to know you know sometimes you put on developmental issues and all those stuff and you know I'm a social activist so I always love to I mean get news about what is happening concerning social projects and all those stuff so that's how I got to know Sanatu Zamba. The SEC challenge um, was really uh, a platform to inspire artists and I was really I mean obtained the inspiration from various artists in fact, art is broad and you can't have all knowledge. We really learn from each other, uh, from the other artists. And I never knew within your range, you never knew that's all, you think that's all. But unless you are out of your, I mean, your range and realize that knowledge is still ahead, you still need to obtain. So I really obtain more knowledge as part of my profession as an artist from other artists on the challenge. All right, Gina. I observed, what I observed is, I saw them doing the, the, work, the work itself, 
Normally, I always see it on net. I don't know how they do. It. They made them, but that day when I saw them doing, I was very happy okay. to see them doing it in life, and yeah. not to see it on the net or any other places that you see it. Okay. So I was very happy and excited. Okay. After the challenge, um, many uh, started were divided to as to how to. I mean to showcase and improve upon the artist capabilities. Something like the radio discussion. A radio discussion was uh, was granted for us to for viewers to to listen to us and know what is going on in Tamale here, especially as artists concerned. Because many people mind were casted on the performing art, especially music. And now some artists are more want to tell the people of Northern and Ghana as well and the world that Art is not limited in only the performance, especially the music, but with the creative art aspect. And the radio program was granted to really tell people and create people awareness that there is something going ahead or there is something, uh, I mean, good in the future for us. Yeah. With regards to Samar to Zambang, I mean, pushing forward our vision or our ambition as an artist is, let me just say, is, it's almost fulfilled. Okay. Yes, almost. Out of percent, I would say 99%. Because <laughs> uh, we are all human, we seem quite human. We can achieve the 100%, it's only God. And what am I saying is because um, from onset, when this program or this uh, platform has been mounted for us to showcase our work, I've been receiving calls. Uh, friends, families, and those I don't even know. Even my lecturers called me. Ah, I saw you on this platform, you were displaying your work, I saw you on radio, I heard from you, or I was hearing you on, uh, spoke on radio, ah, you do, ah, how come? I said, oh, this is what, 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 he said that, oh, this is a nice platform for you, it's a way to push you forward, and they really, I mean, they really congratulate or thanks uh, Sanato Zamba in absence of them, and I was really happy, why is it people are now, I mean, they really hear from us through Sanato Zamba, meaning, we are almost